here we're going to have a little quick how-to video on the removal and installation of an RVC7 UPS battery set. Uh, what I've got here in front is a APC Smart UPS 1400. This is providing a battery backup system for a media center. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this panel off and then pull the battery out and look at it and then we'll put the battery back in so we'll show the removal and installation of a battery and we'll also talk about the RBC7 battery itself that these large UPS's use. So what we'll do first and since this is an APC smart UPS this may differ for other UPS's that use RBC7's depending on how you open them but with the smart UPS's like this one we pull on the two tabs that they have toward the top of the panel and we pull that out and the bottom should come out just fine now there'll be a certain way that this has to go back in when we're done now there's a ribbon cable back here that goes to the control panel on the front so we need to just stick this up and out of the way I'm going to put a weight on here because I don't want this to fall back down and get in the way. So now with that out of the way we have the cover panel for where the batteries are stored and this has the notches for the front panel and it's held up by two Phillips head screws so we got to remove those screws in order to get to the batteries so we'll take those out now one screw and here's the other Now I noticed that the, should point out, this UPS is still plugged into the wall outlet and turned on right now. Now you can do this unplugged, which would be a little bit safer, but the method here is that the UPS batteries are supposed to be hot swappable. You're supposed to be able to take these out and put a new one in while the UPS is still online powering devices. So anyway, here's our RBC7 battery set. And now with the rack down, we're going to pull it out onto this. And that was about to fall down on the batteries. But this is our RBC7 set. And it's two 17 amp hour 12 volt batteries. So each one is 12 volts and each is 17 amp hours. And they bridge them together with a 100 amp fuse link right here so that these batteries in essence are set up to be used in series. So you got a total of 24 volts going to the UPS's circuitry. And back here is where our quick disconnect is. If I can disconnect it back here. Turn this around. This way to get a look at this. Now with these they use the Anderson power pole connectors. It's a pretty heavy duty type connector because these are 10 gauge wire that they use so it's pulling quite a bit of amps for the capacity that this UPS is and how much load these RBC7s take. So. Now what you've done, pull the battery out, you would pull the covers off of the old batteries then remove all your connections and then move those over to the new battery pack. And then once you've got those all assembled then you would bring the battery back like it is here. So we would now we're going to reinstall the battery after we pulled it out. And also there will be a connection in the back of the UPS for the other end of the connector. So we will put that in. Back here. Make sure my connections line up. Fell down again. 
stick that back up there. Not the most effective way to keep this lid up here, but it's just for the time being. So we plugged that back in. Now we're going to push the battery pack back in there. It should slide right in to the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lift our panel. Get that back up. Now that panel generally comes off, but I have a piece of duct tape in there to kind of use it as a ramp to put the batteries on. And that makes it a little easier to work with. Now I'll screw the door back in place. And now we gotta put our cover back on. And like I say with these, you should start with the bottom. You don't want to start from the top and then try to put the bottom in. So you get those bottom notches first, and then you get to the top ones. And now we've reinstalled, we both removed and reinstalled an RBC7 battery set from a smart UPS. And to prove that that's working, we'll perform a self test here. And now it's testing a, the UPS running off battery power right now, and then it'll switch back over to normal current. And there it is. So that is the removal and reinstallation of an RBC7 UPS battery.